Well, they they have, have been dating for six months. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the wedding part two. I mean everyone saw wedding part one and it was like damn like straight up from Nigeria straight up in your face. It was really a good movie. Everyone was cheering like hey. I mean Tony Tomato brings the character alive like say she was really cool with the movie i really love her character she is definitely my best character for that same movie well shall let's not forget my nonso my man nonso was actually really cool nigerian trying to serve pinoa in the nigerian wedding that is not going to work <laughs> okay with her wedding planner cray cray fighting yamala i love the wedding planner i love her character i love the fact she took her wig off it was natural it was really cool we're not here to talk about wedding party one we're here to talk about wedding party two so let's get right into wedding party two you guys remember the ending part right when none so kiss our own bow lady and all and they were leaving and they were going to i don't know dubai or the states wherever they were going to i mean that must be where the dating started but they can't just be kissing like that without dating at least uh -uh. that's not how we were like, trained in nigeria so they were dating for like i think six months by the way by the way by the way by the way the proposal was so cliche people i really did not like that it was just so cliche something you see in every american movie ah change the storyline it was so cliche i really didn't like that but anyway they have been dating for six months people nonsa came to tell all his family and they're like uh uh for just six months i can remember that one vividly all right and at this time our beautiful adesua etomi was already heavy with a bouncing baby shide like how is that even possible like it's just six months from their wedding how was she that heavy like she's really heavy she was really heavy so i really don't get that part i really don't get that part because i remember vividly that oh did she was she pregnant before no she was not because i can remember she was really celibate she was celibate she was telling banky you cannot do anything and that's why our neverly beverly nadia Neverly Bavia, <laughs> Beverly Navia, Navia Beverly. Okay, whatever. She was trying to seduce the guy because the guy had been starved, I guess. So yes, obviously she was celibate. That means she was not pregnant. She was not having sex, nothing at all. So how was she pregnant? How was she heavy six months later? And then she even gave back during the wedding that did not take more than a month to plan. How is that even possible? Was it a premature baby? I don't know. I don't know. I, I honestly can't tell. I'm just confused. I'm just confused. But there are transitions though. I don't know if the problem was coming from the script writer or if the problem is coming from the director or if the problem is coming from the producer because it has to be one of them if it's from the director or from the um what's it called from the um shooter i don't know <laughs> the camera people right at least at least at least you need transitions there are some kind of transitions you would you would put in the face of people it's not going to look like it's um how many months ago it's not going to look like it's some days ago it's going to look like it's months ago and they didn't do that so i just assumed guess what i don't know anything so yeah that was really confusing but aside that i actually loved the movie it was a bit cliche so one word people when you're writing a script for a two when the one is already really successful ha huh, you need to put in more than seven times the effort you need to learn from john wick yeah i think so but the movie was nice the movie was nice the movie was nice i love it but it ain't realistic trust me it was not so realistic like it was supposed to be but then it was okay i don't think we we're going for the realistic thing right
am i right yes i don't think we're going for the realistic thing but it was actually really cool i love the movie i love the producer behind it and well that's it guys that's it for today if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe it is free i don't let people love freebies i don't know about you but subscribe to our channel